It's March, so that means a new red light therapy news update. And we've got a lot to unpack. It's kind of crazy how fast this space is growing. We have a ton of new research, we have new articles, new products. I'm filming and producing and publishing a heap of content. It's, yeah, it's really taking off. So yes, there is a lot to share. However, hang around until the end of this video because I actually need a little bit of help. Uh, so maybe you'll be interested in helping me. Anyway, let's start with new products. So first up, Neuronic, the company that sells the Neuradiant 1070, have changed their or streamlined their product offerings. They've actually made it a lot better. So now you go in and you can buy the Neuradiant headset. Uh, there's one price. It has access to the four quadrants. You can change the the light intensity in different zones. And then if you want the consultation package, you just pay that as an add-on. And that also comes with a QEG analysis, which is pretty good value because that can be rather expensive on its own. Like I do in all of these videos, I put all the links, any codes, anything like that, all down below. There are gonna be a fair few links, so uh, be sure to check down there. Mono Red Light have released their full body mats. So they've got quite a range now when it comes to the contacts the skin contact devices so they've got their belt they've got their pads their mats their pod uh there's a lot of options of course they have a ton of panels as well as well as hair regrowth helmets uh they've got a brain device they're, they've really uh, expanded their product offerings and of course they're a really great company so yeah, definitely check out their products. I think this kind of code Alex should work on all their products as well. Speaking of Mito Red Light, they are now accepting or taking HSA or FSA payments. These are credits, I guess, uh, as part of an insurance plan and you can use them on alternative health or health related products. And typically they expire every year. So yeah, look into that. If you live in the States, um, may as well use that money and what better place to spend it on than a red light therapy product. I don't know if I got this in in my February news, so I'll say it again here, but Radiotherapy have released their new Refine series. I've done a first impressions and announcement type video on that panel, or on the new panel range. Um, check that out. Also the Refine 900 featured in my comparison series, which I'll talk about later in this video. But yeah, it's a really, really interesting product and it's getting a lot of attention. I just spoke to the founder of Therapy a few hours ago and he said, yeah, we're getting a heap of interest. Their new smart modes feature is really innovative and yeah, I can see why there's a lot of demand. If you are in the market for a red light therapy panel, definitely add the Therapy Refine series to your shortlist. Again, discount codes, links are all below. Chroma, this is Michael Chaperio's company. Uh, they actually have two new products rolling out this year. The first is an updated version of their Ironforge. The previous version, the one I've reviewed, only had two wavelengths, uh, the 850 and your red light in it. The new one is now emitting five different wavelengths, which is an interesting move. I think it's a good move. Uh, they're taking pre-orders and it will be shipping in a few months time. I may try to get one for a review if that's something you want me to do let me know down below they've also announced a high powered torch which will be shipping shortly uh tech specs are still to come but the same this is going to be about 80 milliwatts over centimeter squared or higher which is pretty intense uh it would be great for those spot treatments also great as a travel device and lumiflex the company that have the flexible uh, waterproof pad they have announced their essential product or panel or pad this is a much lower price point but doesn't have as many features so uh, definitely check it out hey if you are enjoying this can you scroll down hit the like button and also subscribe i do one of these red light therapy news videos every single month so hit the subscribe button you'll be notified when it goes live as for new articles for this month we will start with mono red light they actually put an article out criticizing uh, how some red light therapy companies are putting in a lot of wavelengths, additional wavelengths. Uh, it's pretty obvious who this is targeted to. I mean, literally read the article and um, yeah, the, the numbers all match up. It's a direct go at Platinum LED with their Biomax panel. Of course, the Platinum LED Biomax 8th gen panel, their new one has seven different wavelengths and two of those wavelengths, the blue light and the 1060 nanometer near infrared light are not getting that much power. Uh, if you look at the power split uh, so yeah they're having a dig at that which is fair enough and it's it is a criticism of mine with those panels and then minor red light are also sort of saying hey look maybe there's not that much credibility behind those wavelengths we have looked into them we've published a blog over at lighttherapyinsiders.com on 1060 and also on the blue light so you can check that out and 
come to a conclusion for yourself. Uh, what's interesting though is the new Mitre Red Light uh, 1500X now includes 590 nanometers in it, which also doesn't get that much power going to that wavelength. Uh, so it is a little bit interesting, but they do make some good points in that article and they back up their points with some good evidence. So yeah, definitely check that article out. Veolite, the company that sell the red light therapy headsets and the intranasal device, they were just recently uh, featured on USA Today. As I mentioned at the start of this video, red light therapy is it's truly going mainstream and is taking off and this is just more proof of that. Neuronic have new articles on red light therapy and cancer, which is interesting and something I get asked a lot about. So check that one out. And also an article on how red light therapy can be used in different parts of the brain. Now this is something that hits close to home. Uh, my son, he is undergoing treatment for his health condition. He is diagnosed as epileptic. Uh, we've done a lot of work with Dr. Beck. I've done an interview with him and we're just about to introduce lasers. Now Dr. Beck does a lot of QEG analysis to see what's going on in the brain and then he'll use a very targeted uh, photobiomodulation device. He uses lasers in I believe it's about the 900 to 1000 nanometer range and he'll be well, in fact it's going to be me because we're doing remote sessions. I uh, will apply those lasers into different areas. So uh, that's about to start soon. I'll be sure to report back in a few weeks or a few months time. In the meantime, yeah, check out this article from Neuronic. Now, Kenyon have just published a bunch of articles on how you can use their device and photobiomodulation, red light therapy, uh, when it comes to surgery or post-surgery recovery. So if you're in that space, check that out. Finally, uh, over at Light Therapy Insiders, this is the blog that goes with our channel. Uh, we, I say we, but it's really been Bart, has published some excellent articles in the last few weeks. We have one on fat loss, we have one on 590 nanometer light, which is the amber light that is now included in the Mito Red Light panel. And then finally, we have an article on blue light as well. So yeah, if you're looking at the Biomax or the Mito Red panels, definitely check those out. Of course, we have a ton of older content over there. I say old, that site's only a few months old, so it's all new, but uh, definitely check that out if you haven't. Highly recommend getting on the uh, email list. We put out a lot of content on that website that doesn't even make it through to this channel, which is a bit of a bummer. And again, something I want to talk about later in the video. Okay, so this month's study is titled Red Light and Sleep Quality and the Endurance Performance of Chinese Female Basketball Players. So in this study, there were a group of 20 females from the Chinese military. Uh, 10 of them were exposed to red light therapy in the evenings and another 10 weren't. They were using 660 nanometer red light and there was no near infrared light and they were exposed to it for 30 minutes. I believe they were using a bed as well. Now the researchers found that the group who were exposed to red light therapy had a massive increase in melatonin levels and also reported sleep quality. Not only that, the group that were exposed to red light therapy also saw an improvement in their physical run times uh, when compared to the control placebo group. It is quite an interesting study. We have done a blog article on the links between red light therapy and sleep and timing and dosing and whatnot. But yeah, this is quite an quite a noticeable improvement. It is a small study and there are a lot of things that I would like the study to look into deeper. Maybe a future study will do this. What's interesting though is they only use red light and not near infrared light. It would be really cool to play around with this and you know do one version where they use the light in the morning versus evening, uh, shorter times, longer times, different wavelengths. But hey, the takeaways here that red light therapy was helping with melatonin and sleep quality and also their runtime is um it's all good news, right? So link to the full study is below so you can check that out if you like. All right, this month's question is around red light therapy, in particular near infrared in the 1060 nanometer wavelength range and face, facial fat loss. So firstly, a bit of context. There is a comment on one of my videos saying uh, this individual used the Omnilux men's mask uh, device, which uses, I think, 1060 or 1070 nanometer light. And they said they experienced facial fat loss. That particular comment has had a lot of responses and a lot of likes. It's also been quoted in a few articles, including that Mito Red Light article that I mentioned earlier. And of course, from there, there is a lot of people seeing that and, and asking me and obviously sharing that. And it's it's not out of control. It's just spread a lot. Um, <clears throat> over the years, I've also seen a couple, I'd say two, maybe three comments where people state that they've experienced uh, fat loss in the face when using um, red light therapy devices. Those devices weren't using 1060 because until recently, 
1060 was only really available in headsets. Uh, of course, the Omnilux mask is the 1070, but now we have the Platinum LED Biomax with 1060 nanometers in it. So yeah, it's all of a sudden come to the surface, I guess. Now, my take is it's very few people. Uh, when you actually look at the 1060 and fat loss, there's one person here sharing their report using the Omnilux mask, which again is 1070, not 1060, though it's very similar. Does that mean it's going to happen when you use the Platinum LED Biomax based on one report? I, I'm going to say no, and I'm, I'm going to explain why soon. And the other thing is you never truly know, like, firstly, is this person credible? I mean, was that comment a hit from a rival company? I suppose it could be. It seems, it seems legit, though. But secondly, I mean... You don't know the full story. Did that person get ill at the time? Uh, were they starting a new sport? Um, did they start a new medication? Uh, did they get that mask at the start of the year, for instance, when they decided, you know what, I'm on a big health kick. I'm going to spend some money on some products. I'm also going to clean up my diet. I'm going to walk more. I'm going to stop drinking. And there's all these variables that have changed. And next thing you know, they've lost weight. I'm not <clears throat> trying to discredit the comment uh, or anything like that, but I'm just saying we don't know the full picture. Um, there could be things going on here. Anyway, what does the research show? Well, in the literature, there's nothing that we could find showing that 1060 or 1064 nanometers or 1065 nan nanometers is causing facial fat loss. All right. It doesn't mean that it doesn't cause facial fat loss. It's just we couldn't find any evidence to support this. Now, there has been some studies on this wavelength, uh, and we looked through the studies and looked for any mention of facial fat loss, there was none. Even in the side effects section, there was no mention of facial fat loss, which I'm sure if it was happening, people would be reporting. I mean, there wasn't a ton of research, but uh, still, there's nothing that we could find to support this claim. Of course, there's always outliers. There's always exceptions to the norm. Uh, it's true with red light therapy as a whole. I mean, typically it's very, very low or no side effects. Every now and then though, well, we see this in the Facebook group, there has been one or two people who have just started using red light therapy and they've developed a rash or an ulcer or some reaction. I, I personally have never experienced that in all my years using it and I don't know of anyone that has experienced side effects, but it could potentially happen. Maybe that's what's happened here with this user. I don't know. And when we do look at the research around the 1060 to 1070 nanometer wavelength, I combine the two because there isn't actually a lot of data on this wavelength. Yeah, the results are actually promising for skin health. Uh, I won't go into it in too much detail because it's been covered in our articles, but yeah, I mean, it looks like it is a good wavelength for skin health. As for fat loss in general, I mean, it is interesting that red light therapy, not in the 1060 range, but in the 600, 700, 800 nanometers uh, wavelengths, there is potentially some benefit here um, for fat loss. I mean, I, again, have used red light therapy a lot, uh, four or five times a day, five to 20 minute sessions for many, many years. Have I noticed fat loss when using it? No. Uh, in fact, I actually put on a little bit of weight when I became a father, stopped training, you know, diet all changed, sleep just went rock bottom. You know, I, I developed that typical dad bod, I guess. Uh, and that was still despite me using red light therapy. So I don't think it's going to be an absolute game changer, a magic pill, so to speak. If it was, we would well and truly know about it by now. Uh, and I'm sure it would be everywhere because everyone would be using it. Still though, there is a little bit of research showing it could be promising, but hey, at the end of the day, focus on your sleep, focus on diet, focus on movement, focus on optimizing hormone activity, all that, all that good stuff when it comes to uh, health and well-being if you want to lose weight. Okay, so what's upcoming on the channel? Well, I have a bunch of reviews coming out. I have the Mito Red Light Mito Pro 1500X review. I have the Royo Therapy Refine 900 review, the Carla Elite panel review, and also a Best Cure panel review. All of those are coming out in the coming weeks. I also have a Biomax 900 versus Block Blue Light Mega head to head comparison review video coming up. I know this is a common question, which should I get? So that's gonna be a big one. I have a video looking at the amount of red light therapeutic red light coming from fire. And then finally, I have the best panel for European buyers. So uh, hang around for that one again, subscribe. As for the rest of this year, well, I'm hoping to do a bit of a comparison looking at these larger body panels. Uh, so that it'll be the Block Blue Light Mega, the XL, all of those panels are the Royo Therapy 3600, I think it is. I think Mutter Red Light do a panel. I wanna get a bunch of them and yeah, see how they compare to the smaller wall panels and see if it's worthwhile getting the bigger one. And if you do get a bigger one, which one's the best? 
I also really want to do a mask comparison series. Uh, I've got to look into this more, especially around red light therapy and skin health. Once I get a better understanding of what is good in terms of power intensities, wavelengths, then I can do a, a mask comparison. So hang around for that. And then I'm tempted to do a bit of a comparison look at infrared saunas. I know we mainly focus at red light therapy here, but uh, there is a bit of crossover, especially because infrared saunas now uh, incorporating red light therapy into it. Uh, it will be a lot of work and a lot of money, but if that's something that interests you, then yeah, let me know with a comment down below. Finally, I mentioned at the start of this video that yeah, things are growing and I could do with some help. I'm actually tempted to bring on another presenter. Uh, what that would mean is we could do more content on the channel, put up more content. It would mean I could specialize more in a particular area and the new presenter could have their own particular area, whether it's skin health or beauty or I don't know, the science or whatever it may be. I don't know, just keen to hear your thoughts. It's not necessarily a apply now opportunity, but it's more, I just want feedback from the community. If, yeah, keen to hear what you think. If there would be another person on this channel, um, I would still be doing my videos. They would come on, I'd train, coach them up, and um, they could put out some extra videos. The thing is, I have so many products to review. I have so many articles to turn into videos. There's so much research to cover. I just... I simply can't do it all myself. So keen to get your thoughts. And of course, if this is something that you personally would be interested in doing, um, yeah, shoot me an email, alex at alexfergus.com and um, maybe send me a little clip, you know, a couple of minutes, just you talking, reviewing something, talking about the science, I don't know, impress me. All right, now I always finish this video with a maybe you missed section. This is all the videos that I have published since the last news video went out. Of course, there was one massive video that went out. It was huge, enormous, uh, record breaking, literally off the charts. Well, not really, because YouTube does scale it, but when compared to other videos, this, uh, this video, it's going really, really well. It is my 2024 red light therapy comparison series where I looked at 17 panels, you can see a bunch of them behind me to determine which one was the best. Now, if you haven't seen that, um, yeah, I mean, the YouTube algorithm has probably failed in a way if you've seen this, but I haven't seen that one, but definitely go check that out. It is about 40 odd minutes long, but trust me, it's worth it. Uh, there's actually a longer version as well, the extended one. The extended one, I go into more details, more commentary, more insights. So just check out the shorter version. Uh, and yeah, you're gonna learn a few things about red light therapy panels, but also, which one or which five are the best out of 17. And to make it super simple for you, I'll put a link to it right up here. So you just need to click that box, go check that out. And remember, if you've already checked that out, check out the extended version. Links are below, as well as links to everything else I mentioned in this video. See you later.